single breath, and that is pretty reliable at bringing on a, an anxiety attack. Yeah, if you have people, please don't do this because you need the right proper medical staff around, but they're, they're great experiments of having people breathe carbon dioxide directly, and it, you basically panic. Um, it's terrifying. One yeah, breath. one big gulp of, of carbon dioxide will make, make you very afraid. It turns out that there are a little group of neurons, of course, neurons are just nerve cells, that little group of neurons in the brainstem that respond to levels of carbon dioxide in the blood. Turns out the reason we breathe is, of course, to bring in oxygen and then offload carbon dioxide. But we don't have neurons that stimulate breathing for oxygen. We have neurons that sense when carbon dioxide levels get too high. So if you hold your breath, <gasps> Eventually, carbon dioxide levels go up, and then at the moment that they reach a certain threshold, these neurons fire and trigger the gas reflex. <gasps> so in that moment, you bring in oxygen, and then, of course, you offload some carbon dioxide.